hello everyone in this video i will discuss with you workbook question answers of chapter hearts and hands given to us on page number 79 children one more thing better before discussing these question and answers uh, try to write your answers on your own i will give few answers to you and the rest you will do it so that you can write very good answers in the examination same questions are not going to come in the paper okay so you have to frame good uh, answers in the examination take points from the book itself only do write bookish language or the language used used in the workbook so that you should not make any mistake you should not miss any point okay so now i'm going to discuss few questions with you and afterwards the rest you will make it first question here why did mr easton feel embarrassed why did he clasp her fingers with his left hand answer beta here mr easton felt embarrassed means ashamed because his old acquaintance miss fairchild saw him in handcuffs he clasped her fingers with his left hand because his right hand was bound at the wrist by the shining bracelet to the left of his companion are you clear but again because his right hand was bound at the wrist by the shining bracelet or to the left of his companion next one why did he tell miss fairchild i will ask you to excuse the other hand how was it engaged at that time he told miss fairchild that he would ask her to excuse the other hand because it was bound at the wrist by the shining bracelet to the left of his companion are you clear better next one why did the glad look in a young wo woman's eye change to a bewildered horror here the young woman noticed that mr easton her old friend was handcuffed to the man seated beside him as mr easton greeted her he raised his right hand bound at the wrist by shining bracelet to the left of his companion and at the last that's why the glad look in young woman's eyes changed to a bewildered horror clear beta next one in what tone was mr easton going to speak why did the glum faced man stop him from speaking when miss fairchild saw mr easton her old friend in handcuffs mr easton felt embarrassed the glum faced man had been watching miss fairchild with his shrewd eyes in in order to save mr easton from embarrassment he came forward with an explanation and said that eastern was a marshal and the two were headed for eleventh worth prison eleven worth prison again i'm repeating the answer when miss fairchild saw mr eastern her old friend in handcuffs mr eastern felt embarrassed the glum faced man had been watching miss fairchild face with his shrewd eyes in order to save mr eastern from embarrassment he came forward with an explanation and said that eastern was a marshal and the two were headed for 11th worth eleven worth prison clear better next one what did the glum faced man tell the young woman what effect did his remark 
have on the young woman the glum faced man told the young woman that mr easton was a marshal and that they were headed for leavenworth prison his remark relieved the young woman of her embarrassment of her embarrassment clear beta next question number 2 passage number 2 whom does the glum faced man call marshal why does he do so the glum faced man calls mr easton marshal he does so in order to save mr easton from embarrassment clear beta how does he remove mr easton embarrassment again the same questions repeating again and again when miss fair child sees mr easton his old friend in handcuffs mr easton feels embarrassed in order to remove mr easton's embarrassment he tells miss fair child that mr easton is a marshal and they are headed for leavenworth prison are you clear beta here they are headed for leavenworth prison next one what does he present himself as and why he presents himself as a convict criminal he does so in order to save eastern from embarrassment clear beta next one here why does he tell that mr easton is taking to live in worth prison he tells miss fair child that mr easton is taking him to live in worth prison in order to confirm that mr easton is a marshal and he is a convict clear beta what does he mean when he says it's 7 years for counterfeiting the young woman is fully relieved of her tensions and accepts that mr easton is a marshal and is doing his duty as a marshal clear beta